Hey, John Reed, live from SAP Tech. We got SAP Startup Story Shoot. I've got John Siegel of FanApps. How's it going? Fantastic. So you're here as part of the HANA Startup Program. What's the experience been like? It's been excellent. Uh, you know, I've worked with a lot of these folks initially, sometimes over the phone, uh, electronically. It's great to actually spend some time with them and, and get to know them a little bit better. All right. So tell me, what kind of business problem are you, is your company trying to solve, and, and how does HANA play into that? Well, our clients have been making investments in the social media space initially for building a presence for some time now. And you know, a number of our clients have built huge audiences of hundreds of millions of fans and followers. And so they've been very good at, at building these audiences, but they're all now very interested in getting return on those initial investments. And so depending upon their business, they're looking to sell more of their products or get people to consume more of their content. And so you know, my background, I, I come out of the CRM space. And so we're, we're taking the lessons we learned in, in the CRM space and applying it to social media, which means we're helping our clients use social media to harness you know, the knowledge and data about these fans and followers to get them to be better customers or to acquire them as customers originally. So social media is a pretty crowded and hype-filled space in and of itself. Um, so how is it that you approach that that you think may be a little bit different than what other people watching might be thinking around like, oh, harvesting Twitter sentiment, for example, or whatever? So, you know, we've looked at the space very carefully, and, you know, you're, you're right. There's, you know, hundreds and hundreds of companies doing this and that, and it actually you know, reminds me somewhat of the beginning of the CRM days when you had, you know, a company that had a contact management solution and a company that had a proposal solution. Right. And they all said it was full CRM. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So um, where we've tried to focus is we've tried to look at it and say, you know, at some point uh, the, the, the brand or the business we're working with has to see business value. And so whereas we see a lot of these other companies focusing on tasks like we'll help you publish to Facebook and Twitter or we're going to get you more likes and, and comments, we think those are short-term and fleeting you know, benefits. Right. Where we're trying to make the connection where we believe we're different is helping drive from fan and follower to all the way through to you know, becoming a customer. And so the way we've architected the solution, the, uh, the size and scale capabilities of it and now enabled by SAP HANA, uh, really make the kinds of things that we do uh, unique relative to what others are doing. So give me the short version of how you turn a fan into a real customer, because a lot of people want to know how to do that. Sure. So we have a personalized marketing platform, and at the front end, we have a whole series of what we call social experience applications. And so these are pre-built applications that our, our clients use. They'll publish links to them on their Facebook newsfeed, or they'll tweet about them. And this is an opportunity to engage fans and followers and also you know, get new ones uh, in a social experience but at the same time, learn about who these people are. And if you think about it, you know, the best customer experiences any of us have ever had is when we are doing business with somebody who, who knows us. Right? Think of a, a local retail store. Maybe you walk in and the person smiles. They recognize you. They know what you like. Uh, they know what you don't like. And they tailor the experience to your benefit. So what happens in the social space today mostly is fans and followers are telling their brands that they interact with all kinds of information. And no one's remembering anything about right. it. They're basically broadcasting. For, for the most part, they're not. Yeah. Yes, yes. Right. So, okay, so you're basically saying that, in a nutshell, that, okay, a fan likes what you're doing, but you want to create a relevant type of relationship to that particular person, that the ultimate result's going to be buying behavior because they feel a sense of connection and loyalty to your brand? Is that? Uh, that's certainly among, among okay. a number of things. You know, the, another example would be, you know, I um, have you now interacting with my brand through one of these social experience applications. I can remember the things you tell us. Maybe you give us a social authorization that shares with us your likes, your interests. Maybe you're okay. making decisions in our platform that would tell us something about you that now that you've told us, we want to remember and use that information to personalize all the other marketing experiences we have with you. So I trust you, so I opt in. Absolutely. Okay. We're, we're focused on opt-in, gotcha. data people are sharing. This gotcha. is not about skimming the open web for information. Okay. That's not what we do. Okay. All right. So the skeptic's hat, put it on for a sec. Why do you need HANA? Well, so I mentioned earlier we have clients that have hundreds of millions of fans and followers. Each fan individually could have thousands or tens of thousands of attributes, so it's a complex series of relationships. We're also looking at you know, relationships between you know, friends and family and other you know, data points. And so this is not just an analytics application. We're actually building real-time applications where, based upon what we know about you, we can provide a better experience. And so the power of HANA allows us to do that. We don't believe this is technically feasible with you know, traditional you know, database technology. One thing about the SAP folks who may be watching this is they think about products in terms of years a lot of times implementing ERP. How long did it take you to build this app? 
Well, you know, we initially launched our platform in the 2010 timeframe, and so we've been continuing to improve and build upon it since. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually entered the HANA Experience Program in August, and uh, it was really, I can't think of another relationship we've had where between the initial support and getting a fast start and having a dedicated person to talk to, and, and we've actually been able to go from concept to actually rolling out into production. We'll be rolling out the uh, HANA-based solution in the early part of November, which is just a few weeks away. One issue when you get into social data is around uh, bringing in SAP and non-SAP data sources and being able to basically look at the full view of the customer instead of that fragmented view that we've had for so long in these systems. Does your solution do anything about that? So absolutely. So it's been designed to allow our clients to bring in data from outside the FanApps platform. And so that includes data from SAP, could be point of sale related information, it could be customer transaction and purchase information. Could be even one of SAP's CRM competitors. Uh, certainly, certainly, yep, yep. Ab absolutely. And so Anywhere we, you have relevant information. Absolutely, okay. and, and then to be able to combine that data with social data and be able to build, build correlations, the example being perhaps if I knew, you know, here's a particular product that I know that, um, you know, that John bought, right, and here's John's social profile, I can now build correlations between what does the social profile look like for people who bought this product. That's very valuable information to understand, to be able to use for perhaps better email effectiveness, targeting, uh, better display advertising, you know, my website, better personalization of my website. So you've been able to go live in a matter of months. What would you say, though, to someone who knows a little bit about HANA, has some development chops, maybe has some industry experience, they see a use case, but they're nowhere. They're absolutely nowhere, but they might want to be where you are someday. Is that hard? What does it take? Well, you know, from the feedback from our development team is that, um, you know, the skills that they had previously around, you know, other database-related technologies translated very well. I mean, granted, we definitely got, you know, fantastic support from the, from the startup team as part of the SAP HANA experience program. Fair but, amount of SQL, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, they're developing using, you know, the SQL script capability and the paradigms, there are, you know, similar ones. And so we were very productive, uh, you know, early on. And, and so I think anyone who's looking at doing this, um, I think they would find that, you know, they'd be able to come up to speed very quickly. And now with the investments that SAP has made in, you know, for example, you know, the relationship with Amazon uh, to get people access to the technology and the licenses, you know, at a reduced and, and, and metered cost, I mean, it's, it's you know, very straightforward to take, you know, dive in and get going. You seem like a pretty ambitious person, so let me throw this down for you. If I see you again next year at this time, give me your best case scenario. Well, you know, uh, part of the investment in the relationship with SAP is also, you know, we, you know, want to do business with a lot of SAP customers. And so, you know, ideally a year from now, we'll be able to sit down and I'll be able to tell you the long list of SAP successful wins that we've had along with our, our counterparts from SAP and, and have a long list of successful customers. There you have it, folks. HANA Startup about to go live. Congrats and good luck. Thank you.